Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to import your images into Medibank Paint. So this is just how to add images, photos, just any image that you've saved onto your device into the app. It should be noted that first you have to actually download your images. If you don't have anything downloaded, you will not be able to add it into here. The only way to go around this is to import things from your Google Photos if you have those but even then it's better to have things downloaded. It's just quicker and easier. So get onto your canvas and then we're going to need to go into the layers menu. The layers menu is right over here. So click on the layer button and it will bring you into the layer menu. I have most of these on invisible because they are things that I use for the thumbnail. But you're going to want to press the plus button down here. And you can go two different buttons from here. You can either click select an image to add, which will take you into your gallery downloads and sometimes Google Photos. And you can choose an image to add from there. Or you can go into add an image by taking a photo, which just takes you directly to your camera and you can take a photo that will go straight into the canvas here. So from here, you can choose whatever images you have in your gallery. You can see down here that it can also take you into your photos and into Google Drive. But I'll just use something from the recent right here. So click on the drawing that you want and it will go into the canvas like that. You cannot make it smaller or bigger with your two fingers like in most apps, but you can toggle the magnification down here. You can make things smaller or bigger, but do bear in mind that this will change the quality of the image depending on the size of your canvas. You can also rotate it by dragging up with this angle part here, but you have to stop it to see the actual effects of what you've done. When you're done, click set. From here, you can choose yes or no to line knot. No will keep it like this, and yes will get rid of the whites that it is just basically the line knot on the drawing. This is an especially good setting for references like this one. You can also adjust it right here though to make the lines thicker and more prominent. Change just a couple little things here to change how the lines look. This can help you with making a reference easier for you to work with. Then click set when you're done. Then you can click do you want to paint over your line art right here. If you click yes, this will make some special layers for you. If not, it will keep it the same. With this, it essentially locks the layer for you, although you can unlock it. And then right here, you can see it's just a normal layer. With normal images though, let's go back into here into select an image to add. So if I click the normal image, this one is not one that we're going to be using line art for. You can do the same menu here. You can lower or up the magnification. You can change the angle. Then when I click set, it will bring you into this same thing, but I'm going to just not extract line art. And you will see that we have both our layers just right here. This feature works good. I think the only thing that I would really change is that you could see your changes as soon as you make them and not having to stop to see what they look like because that is a little bit jarring but apart from that I really like it. From here any image that you have put in that's on a layer is just going to be able to work like a normal layer for the most part. You can delete them normally. You can usually do protect alpha and things like that normally too. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and if you did maybe consider supporting. Bye!